Lisa Schenken, creator of the proven Kill the Diet weight loss system for permanent weight loss without pills, guilt, or depriving yourself. Welcome to the third installment of our three-part series on mindfulness. Hopefully you've been practicing listening to your belly to know when you're truly hungry compared to when you're just eating out of emotion or habit. The issue of knowing when you are truly hungry is then followed by the issue of being mindful of when you're truly full versus just wanting to eat more because it's calming an emotion or the food tastes good. The thing is that our minds and our bellies do not get the signal of being full at the same time. This is called your appetite versus your apostat. Your belly or your appetite gets full at a slower rate than your mind signals to your belly that it's actually full, called your apostat, which means that if you're not paying attention to the connection between your mind and your belly, you'll overeat and feel stuffed. And we've all been there. That feeling like we just ate too much, it's definitely not pleasant. The key is to slow down your eating by eating more mindfully and with more focus. Not only does this slow down your pace so your mind can signal your belly that it's sated rather than full, but it also allows you to truly enjoy your food, its flavors and textures and more. Have you ever tried taking a bite of food and then closing your eyes? It's a totally, totally different experience than the way you normally eat. There's much more sensation and flavor. I really recommend you try it because it's a great practice in mindful eating. But since you can't eat with your eyes closed all the time, obviously, let's talk about other ways that you can practice mindful eating. One part of mindful eating is eating with the intention that you care for yourself and you want to be good for your, to yourself. You can choose foods that appeal to all of your senses and also will be healthy for your body, like boldly spiced lean meats, fish, and vegetables. Similar to learning to recognize when you're truly hungry, Part of mindful eating is recognizing the foods that make you feel good. Another part of mindful eating is eating without distractions, such as the television, your phone, or in your car. You deserve to enjoy your food and to let it fuel you to be your best. Eating with distractions will only cause you to eat too fast without truly tasting what you're eating. Another very practical tip for eating more mindfully is to simply put your utensil down between each bite. It's amazing how this simple trick drastically slows down your eating, which in turn allows you to taste your food, chew it completely, and not rush. Simply put your utensil down after taking a bite and don't pick it back up again until you have completely swallowed that bite. The most important thing to remember is that with all of these mindful practices, that they're each a practice. That means it takes time to turn them into habits, but if you consistently stick with the practice, one day you'll suddenly realize all of the benefits you've gained, including weight loss, less stress, more happiness, and more enjoyment both in your food and in general. This life and being mindful is a journey, not a sprint. So do your best, don't be too hard on yourself, and seek out support. I'm here for you whenever you need anything, and I'm rooting for you because you're amazing. I'm Lisa Schenken, wishing you a happy, healthy day.